next guest is an actress and a writer. Ooh la la. <laughs> You probably know her from The Office, which is a great show on Thursday nights on NBC. <laughs> Mindy Carling, everybody, Mindy Carling. Hello, Mindy. Hi, I like that, um... Writer that I was ooh la la after writer. Well, I was impressed. I know, but he was like, oh, I guess I'm fancy. Yeah, you are fancy. You're ooh la la. It doesn't feel like a fancy job. So that's, I was like, oh, I guess I'm the queen. You, you are. You're the queen. I should have more of an attitude then about being a writer. Because. No. 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 <laughs> No, it's it's good though. It's impressive. You're right. Yeah, you're 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 what they call the triple threat. You're right. You act and you you look just sensational. <laughs> there you are. Thank you. But let me tell you this: there's only one queen on this show, Biat, <laughs> and she's drinking from the snake mug. <laughs> Now, I hear you're going to Vegas. We have to get through this quickly. You're heading off to Vegas, even although it's, what, 1.30 in the morning? I just pack, I pack my days. My Why? day, 2 a.m. is when I start. No, I've never been to Vegas. I'm really excited. It's my birthday. And I'm, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Uh, listen, if you got a piece of paper, I'll write down a couple of places I oh, think you I'm should so go. I'm so excited for suggestions. Yeah, right. Well, here's... Well, I'll just tell you. Okay. Um... <laughs> Love it's frozen custard next to the stratosphere. I'm sorry, a custard place? Oh, yeah. For suggestions? I thought you were going to be like, this club, this steakhouse, the girls are the hottest here. Look at me. <laughs> okay, what dessert place should I go to for Vegas on my birthday? Love it's frozen custard next to the stratosphere. <laughs> Look, I... Is there if, a, listen, is... if I go into a club, it's no longer hip. <laughs> Just by me turning up. If I turn up, they go, crap, we're out of business. Look, he's here. <laughs> I'm the anti-hip person. Is there a convenient mart that you like that you want me to go to? Is there a church that you're fond of that I should be visiting? I don't like to pick favorite churches. <laughs> not on TV, not a good idea. <laughs> what church did he say he liked? <laughs> Does he like another church better than my church? <laughs> Best not to. <laughs> so what are you going to do in Vegas then, apart from get custard? Well, um, I'm going with my four single girlfriends. Oh, that is so great. I, it's, we like know that it's sort of like it's so cheesy to do it, but I made these plans when I was single, like months ago, and now I have a boyfriend, and I'm like the only one of us that has a boyfriend. Uh, you're the one I always hook up with. <laughs> Back in the day, back in the day, I'm married now. It's not the same, but, you know. But it's like, I don't, he's like a little like, so you're just going to go to Vegas with your four single friends who have all been like, all we're going to do is drink and party and meet guys. Sure. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not interested in that, baby. Like, I just want to go to hang out and turn my birthday. I don't want to say how old I am. You know what I mean? And like, I, but I feel like I'm being kind of a bad girlfriend. I kind of want to invite him. But that's lame, right? Is that no, it's not lame. <laughs> hey, knock it off, girls who... Girls who are trying to get her relationship to fail so you can steal her man. You know that's what you're going <laughs> like. Is that what you were trying to yes. do? I thought we had a rapport when I came out. No. You do, but, you know. <laughs> I'm mistrustful now. Wait, so would you think that was weird? If, you're, if your girlfriend did that with, and you were, you'd just be like, what, you would be like, take me with you. Like, what, what are you supposed no, to do? No, that would be a bit needy, saying take me with you. I think, think what I'd do is I would go somewhere else. Myself. <laughs> with Maybe Bangkok with some guy. <laughs> Maybe me and the guys would go to Bangkok for the weekend. It's nothing, baby. I'm just going with my friends to Bangkok. <laughs> nothing going on. <laughs> That you, there is nothing to do in Bangkok except find hookers. I mean, like, no, you, what would no, you be purporting no, to not... do? You're there, be like, we're going on hikes. Like, what would you even say that you were in there Bangkok? To do? No, yeah. Bangkok has um, very exciting temple tours and <laughs> custard places. They got a custard place. Yeah. 
<laughs> you have your list. Yeah. There's a frozen yogurt place in Bangkok. When you, if you're going to do all like Japan, you know all the places all around I the do. world. I do. I know frozen custard around the world. I'm the custard guy. That's a likable quality. Yeah, you know, it makes me non-threatening. I like it. It's misleading, though. I can still be quite threatening. <laughs> And um, I'm excited because I'm going to go see Chris Angel. Uh, I love magicians, so like I'm going to... Yeah. No, I love magicians. I love magic. So I'm going to go see Chris Angel, which is um, kind of exciting. No, it will be. Chris Angel's a very nice man, you know. He yeah. Wears, he wears a bit of eyeliner. But, I was going to uh, say. But he's good. He's, he's, very, he's been on the show. He's terribly nice and a very good magician. He's very, I, won't, I won't say a word against him. I really won't. Which is unusual for me, as you know. <laughs> I, like hot you know i like the i like magicians because now it's like you don't see like ugly magicians part of their whole thing is that they're like have their hair done and eyeliner yeah I, that makes somebody hot it shows effort they have their hair done and eyeliner and you're like Ooh, uh, take me to vegas baby my boyfriend's in kiss is he really <laughs> oh, oh, that no. would be so great no i i just like think it's like i just think it's so theatrical does I mean, your boyfriend wear eyeliner no, my boyfriend doesn't doesn't wear eyeliner. No. Does he have a mustache? Uh, no, he does not. Right. Do you think it's like you thought you might know him? The way you were asking all those specific I questions. Just, I was I was calming it down. <laughs> yeah. I was like, does he wear eyeliner? There's like a clock no. wipe. Four hours later. <laughs> does he have a mustache? <laughs> Is he French? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's a mustachioed French. I have three minutes later, it's like, yeah, you know him. Yeah, right? yeah. Oh, yeah, Pierre? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is he an actor? Uh, he's an actor. Really? Yeah. Does he, uh, is, how's his career going? Would we know him or is he still working on getting to be known? You will know him. He's on a, he's, like, he's on a, like, a reality punk to, like, prank show that's What's coming out name, on MTV. Do you, do you mind or are you, No, you guys... his name is, um, David Harris. Oh, Dave. You know him. You guys are... He's yeah. going to Bangkok with you. Yeah, you me and Dave yeah. are going to Bangkok this yeah. weekend. So he said, he said, look, I, look, I'll get my girlfriend to go to Vegas with the girls. We'll go to Bangkok for the boys weekend. I'm like, okay. I'm like allowed to be extremely angry with Craig if my boyfriend has sex with a woman in Bangkok this weekend, right? It's his fault. Wait, 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 wait. Thank you. Now I like you guys again. I like them again. What do you mean? You're just falling into their web of deceit. <laughs> I'm so easily swayed. Are you? I, yeah, I am. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to... I, but I feel like when you go to Vegas, you have to, like... No, you have don't a... have to do anything, though. If you're serious about your relationship with this young man, you go there, you have a drink with your friends, but when it's time to leave the club, it's time to leave the club. <laughs> Father. Yes, I am. I love this. Yeah. I think it's, but it's, it's I've decided so... that's the role I'm going to play. If you get closer, you'll notice I smell of vitamins and wee-wee. <laughs> Mindy, we're out of time. I have to go. What? We have to go. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. man. I had to I was Mark Raffalo with the yak, 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 and I... That guy can talk. And he can talk, yeah. He's hot, though, isn't he? Eh, yeah, didn't have enough makeup on. Didn't have enough makeup on? I don't know, that beard is kind of hot. I like that. He's, he's a very handsome guy. Yeah, he's handsome. Uh, we we got to go. We're okay, really I'm right. sorry. Right. Yes, thank you. Thanks we're for having me. Mindy Kelly, everybody. We're right back. Please welcome Mindy Carling, everybody. Mindy Carling. Welcome, Mindy. How are you? Uh, I'm great. Thank you yeah. for having me back. It's very nice to see you again. I'm always very happy to see you. And the last time you were here, I, you said you were going to Las Vegas, and I and I um and I recommended Lovett's Frozen Custard. And did you go? Um, I did go. It's good, right? It is good frozen custard. There you are. I'm a little mad at you. I have to say. Because I went to Love It's... I'm sorry, I hate to start off with this, but you brought it up, so I have to... Okay. I was going to celebrate my 30th birthday, and no I went way. with my... No way! Thank you. All right. And I uh, went with my best friends. We brought sparkly dresses and heels. Like, we couldn't wear sneakers the whole time. Awesome. Yeah, we're going to party and drink. And um, 
I came on the show and you were like, oh, you gotta go to Love It's Frozen Custard. Yeah. And I told my friends, I was like, Craig Ferguson told me this, this is a big deal. And Mr. He's a celebrity. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, we went to this frozen custard place in, I believe, the most dangerous and sketchiest neighborhood I've ever been to in my entire life. <laughs> there was, we went, I can't, it's so insulting. Like, we were in our little dresses, and I was like, guys, this is gonna be awesome, because that guy told me. And um, they're all excited. <laughs> went to the parking lot. First of all, there's like, this is true. Like, there was a homeless man walking across the parking lot with a t-shirt on, and then like no pants and no underwear. <laughs> and he I'm, just I'm, like I'm, I'm trying to get to the part that's not good about this. I'm, I'm, I just, and you know, you go to Vegas and you have these ideas, like, oh, it's gonna be like Ocean's Eleven, I'll get married to a stranger, I don't know, like this great romantic thing could happen. So we go, to, we go there, the custard is good, we're disconcerted because there's a naked man across the parking lot. <laughs> And this is why I knew it was really a bad place. There's a pickup truck there, and two seedy looking guys come out of the pickup truck and come over to me and my like, group of friends, and they're like, hey. And we were like, oh, hey. And he's like, hey, um, we love The Office. I was like, oh, great, thank you. Not, yeah. not murderers. Right, right, right. <laughs> because murderers don't watch The Office. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they're like, yeah, you know, um, we actually have a better car than this pickup truck, but we're in an undercover drug sting to the place next to the frozen custard place. <laughs> this was like an area rife with drug dealers and drug addicts. And then me and my defenseless friends. Was the custard good? <laughs> thing is that they were like, there is no way that Craig Ferguson told you to go here. Like, they took your side. As though, like, I was like, no, I swear, I swear. So... Was the custard <laughs> good? Okay, yes, the custard was delicious. Was if it you're worth be... risking your life? For... I guess in a way. You're right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Now, how because when you were going up to, when you were going up to Vegas, when you were here last time, you were going on a girls' weekend. Mm -hmm. And because your boyfriend was going on, you were wondering about whether you should invite your boyfriend. No, or, no, can I just interrupt you for a second? Sure, you, yeah. <laughs> my boyfriend was just going to have a nice weekend in L.A. and just miss me and think about me and things like that. And All then right. you were like, oh, no, he should go to Bangkok and meet prostitutes. He really said this. He's like, why shouldn't he get some? That? Yes, you alluded to that. If they, they can I? find, you can find the footage. And if this is what he said you should do. Really? Yeah, you... God, what a jackass I am. <laughs> did he go to Bangkok and meet prostitutes? And you know, he's such a good guy that he didn't take your advice. Ah, great, great. For so as what long he... as I know. Well, no, no, because well, you were in Vegas. Mm -hmm. Did he go... Well, no, the reason I brought it up is because you said, I don't know if I should invite my boyfriend to the mm -hmm. girls' weekend in Vegas. And I'm like, no, you shouldn't invite him to that. He should have a boys' weekend to do something boy-like. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, maybe go to Bangkok and meet some prostitutes. Or... <laughs> That's what I meant by that is maybe fishing or... Something. Interview prostitutes for National Geographic. Right, something like that. Right. National Geographic. <laughs> yes. uh, yeah, <laughs> let me see. Yeah, all right. <laughs> and an anthropological trip, just to see. Yeah, well, you don't have to go as far as Bangkok for that kind of thing. <laughs> they got that in Vegas, right next to Love It's Custard, actually. You could, uh... I... oh, I'm, so I'm sorry that I... I'm sorry. Did you have an otherwise nice weekend there? Uh, you know, I think I'm not suited for Vegas, I think. Like, yes. both of my credit cards. This is a, a true thing. If you give your credit card at a bar, if you give it to someone, like, 90% of the time, they, like, photocopy the card and then make a new card and then give you back your card. And that happened to both of my credit cards. So I, like, I kind of had a bad weekend. I lost a ton of money. That's Vegas. Yeah? <laughs> Listen, here's what really happened. You met a couple of cool undercover cops. <laughs> You lost all your money. You mm -hmm. got a couple of good stories to tell. Mm -hmm. You had a, an adventure with your girlfriends wearing heels. Mm -hmm. And you had some great custard. What the hell do you want? No. That? I think maybe my standards are too high. No, you're right. I need you to go on a trip for us again. Where are you going to go next time? We're out of time, but I want to send you on another trip. Here's where I'd like you to go next time. Okay. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. I've heard there's a really good yogurt stand. God. Or a yogurt stand in Baghdad. Could you try that out? It makes
makes me mad because if you're going to Boston, where I'm from, and you're like, hey, Mindy, where should I go? And I was like, oh, Craig, you got to go to Skid Row. That is where it's at. You'd be so angry with me. You assume that I've never been. <laughs> He's the lovely Mindy Carling, everybody. Sensational. Thank you. I love this. Look, pleats, ple folds, pleats. Yeah. It's nice. I like it very I'm much. I'm impressed with your knowledge of pleats. I know about pleats. I watch Project Runway. I can tell you about <laughs> folds and pleats. Um, I uh, was reading your book this weekend. One your... that I own or one that I wrote? The one that you wrote. I've written two. Well, your autobiography that just came out. Oh, that one. I didn't write that one. <laughs> well, whoever wrote it, mm. I loved it. Oh, thank you. I thought it was really inspirational, and I just was really funny and moving, and uh, no one, like, handed you anything, and I just thought it was really cool. Thank you very much indeed. And you did a lot of drugs. Many, many drugs. <laughs> <coughs> Every page, it was like, inspirational story, oh, a drug I've never heard of. Oh, really? <laughs> Turn the page, more inspirational stuff. And then New some drugs. drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was kind of oh, 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 it was. It was oh, a big yeah. <laughs> yeah, a little up and down. Are you? A, a, do you have a terrible drug problem yourself, or are you? A... It's not a problem yet. Right. Well, that you're in the honeymoon period. Exactly. Then. Yeah. I'm at the time when people at parties, when it gets boring, they're like, "Where's Mindy?" Right. So that's I... good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, very quickly, that turns to, "Oh, there's Mindy." <laughs> yeah. No. So you have to, it goes from where's Mindy to there's Mindy like that. So be careful. Enjoy it while you can. See, that should be your next book. What? How to be a, a nice, affable drug addict. <laughs> <laughs> How to be well, the one that everyone wants to... Step one, stop taking the drugs. Oh. Right there, that'll move you to the next direction. Yes. Yeah. Oh, but I loved your book. I thought it was well, really great. Nice. That's yeah. very nice. What about, have you written a book? No, but it was inspiring. I haven't, I haven't lived enough yet. I was sort of thinking, though, that... If you wrote the book like 15 years from like I, I wouldn't have that How much. How much to older say. am I than you? I'm not asking you your age, but generally. No, it's in a fine. Rough I, I turned 30 this year. All right, and I'm 47, so that's 17 years older than you. That's 17 years more. I was 30 when I stopped. 29 when I stopped uh, drinking and taking drugs. Oh, okay, so my window is. Yeah, just... you're <laughs> boom, <bomb>, close. <laughs> I mean, I, it's, a, it's a much less interesting story, I think. But. No, no, no. That's only because you lived it. I don't think my story is interesting either. And then when I wrote it down, I still think it's not interesting. And people go, oh, that's interesting. And I go, really? Uh, who are you? And they say, we're the police. And we've always wondered what happened <laughs> that night. So there you are. Um, but uh, I'm excited to be back here because I have to give you... Uh, an update about a, a place that Yes, you... I was going to ask you about the frozen custard place you went to in Las Vegas. Love it's frozen custard. It's a great place. Great place. Yes. Love Las Vegas. Yes. I got in a little bit of trouble. Why? Well, I went to the custard place with my friends on my 30th birthday. Yeah. And while you we told were in me the this. You didn't like yes. it. It was cracky. You liked the custard, but you thought the neighborhood was cracky. We saw a naked man show, expose his penis to us when he was walking around the parking lot. Naked men will do that. <laughs> Penis as much as the next person. Hey, who doesn't love penis? I don't like it when it's a surprise. What? I don't like it when it's in the dark. Well, you gotta try and open your mind a little bit. Oh, no, no, no. In the dark, I don't know how I started talking about this. And also, it's a surprise. This. Sometimes it's a bit like, happy birthday, surprise. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I got, I, I said that I thought that the neighborhood was kind of dangerous. Yes. And then, um, huge. I got so much trouble about it. There was Oh, people, from the residents of the neighborhood? Oh, the residents of the neighborhood got so angry with me, which is too bad because I love the, the frozen custard. It got to the point where on Facebook, yeah. there is a Facebook group of people. It's called a group of people who live in the neighborhood around Love It's Frozen Custard who are against Mindy Kaling. <laughs> That's their name? Well, you know what you want to do then? What? You want to apologize and get into rehab. That's what you do. <laughs> Whenever you do anything in show business and you get into trouble with people, uh -huh. get yourself into rehab as soon as you can. I think that's a great idea. Yeah. Well, and I say was... you've got an addiction to some kind of... Thing. Something, right? Sex is always interesting. I, uh, I'm going to try that. Well, I was going to, like, join the group and be like, 
I mean, you can't leave them out that bad. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. A little bit of fifth column. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. good. I Try and slowly turn them around. Have my, like, boyfriend go in there and be like, I heard she's awesome. Screw you guys. Yeah. But I think it would be transparent. Well, but... certainly, no. It's probably... Uh... I just think that I shouldn't be getting such a hard time if you, if an, if you were at a parking lot yes. at a place right. and a naked woman approached you... <laughs> I'm not, it's not the same. It's not the same. It's not. You have read my book, haven't you? <laughs> anyway, I just feel, I feel bad about it. But I just well, you, thought but what do you feel bad? You feel bad about they're, they're mad or you feel bad about the fact that you, you were kind of slightly disparaging about their neighborhood? <laughs> where you, if you feel you were telling the truth, then stop by your guns. But if you're just, you know. In uh, that moment, I feel like any person who was there would have said, this is not the safest of neighborhoods. This is not the most savory of experiences. I don't think I should. But right. I also don't want Las Vegas to think that I think the whole place is just full of. Las Vegas is a spiritually uplifting wonderland. <laughs> and I don't think. I don't think anyone who's ever been to Las Vegas will think any less of it because of you said it was a little bit cracky near the frozen custard stand that I sent you. Yeah. Where are you going next? I'll send you to a nice, a nice place to eat. Where... I'm going to New York. I can help you. What do you enjoy eating? Do you like the pizza? Yeah, yeah, I love it. All right. There's a pizza place. <laughs> Hold on, oh. Grandpa. Let me right. take notes. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, back in my day, there was a pizza place. There's a pizza place. A pizza place. <laughs> Uh, you can say anything to me. I just love you so much. <laughs> this, no, you have to go here, right? You have to go. It's the uh, it's First Avenue. Okay. Between 9th and 10th Street. Rosemary's Pizza. Okay. All right, go there. That's bit, all that other stuff that people talk about in New York. Oh, the best pizza here. The best pizza. They're all... Delusional. Is there going to be like some unsafe aspect to this pizza place that what I'm going to discover when I'm there? What could possibly go wrong? It's the edge of the East Village. It's, it's <laughs> nothing. <laughs> oh, in your book, I read that. I don't know if you guys knew this, but Kurt was a bouncer. Yes. Isn't that the craziest? I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I just don't think you'd be a very good bouncer. I wasn't. I was, a, I was a terrible bouncer, but I was still a bouncer. I didn't say I was a good bouncer. I just said I was hired by someone who, who clearly. Would hire you to be a bouncer. <laughs> I'm sorry. If I wanted to like go start a fight in a club and I saw he was standing in front of it, I'd be like that. <laughs> go right ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. That is like I. It's true. It's true. But, you know, it's... Was it all, like, attitude? <laughs> Were you just like, hey, you better not <laughs> start any trouble? <laughs> Me do this? If I did this, people would go, what, what are you doing? I'd be like, ah, I hurt my hand. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to get a ring off. I, no, I like your ring. It's, is that a ring that goes on two fingers? That's two a fingers. knuckle duster. I'm married to two men. <laughs> Look at that. Saying. That's a knuckle duster yeah, right there. It's pretty awesome. That's illegal. <laughs> We're this, out of time, by the way. This, <laughs> we are completely out of time. Oh, is oh there well. any uh, neighborhoods around the United States you want to give a hard time before you go? <laughs> I love every neighborhood. Don't there start a are. Facebook group against now, me. And I just want the people of Las Vegas who live in the vicinity of Lovett's Frozen Custard to know that I in no way endorse Mindy uh, Kahn. This is just... I'm not, I'm not hanging you out here. I just... It's not right. It's not right. And I have to say, I think Mindy secretly doesn't feel that way and I think she loves that neighborhood and she just doesn't know how to tell you isn't that like mm -hmm. <laughs> now everybody calm down <laughs> yes? thank you thank you all right calm down everybody enjoy the commercials we'll be right back <laughs> please welcome the lovely Mindy Carling everybody How are you? I'm very excited to be back. You, you look fantastic. I have to say, your orange dress is lovely. I'm Thank very you. taken with it. It it's wraps you up in a lovely fashion. I like that. It is, I like it too. You, almost, you want to kind of unwrap you. I don't. That's not a pr 
Okay, Not I'll take appropriate? It. I'll take no, it. no, I don't know why. Oh, wait a minute. Let's check where we are. Here. No, appropriate right. is not what we do here. I know skeleton. Okay, I know Jeff is... You're very excited about Jeff. Reasonably. It's like the Mexican Day of the Dead. Like, I don't know. Like, he has a... No, 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 no. Like... He's, he's, he's lovely. He's a huge fan of you, I believe. Oh, now I feel bad. No, I, that's true. I love your work, Miss Mindy Galing. What are you? That was pretty awesome that you did that, though, wasn't it? Oh, uh, yes, Mindy. I'm charmed and disturbed at yeah, the same time. Yeah, I know. Me too. Wait, I, I, you I well. great. Thank you very much. I have to say, there's huge congratulations in order for you. When? The Peabody Award? Yes, I won that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Award is like the Peabody Award is like a classy award. Yeah, it's like a really posh thing. That's why I had to get a robot skeleton immediately. Yeah, I, I mean, like Ken Burns wins like the Peabody Award. I know. Like the Civil yeah, War. they could have documentaries about things that go on for a very long time. Yeah. You know, the interesting thing about Ken Burns' documentary about the Civil War, it lasts as long as the actual <laughs> Civil War. He takes you through day by day. <laughs> well, I was just thinking, like, you know, I usually come on and we do some foolishness, talk about nonsense and, right. you know, whatever, ferality. But now I feel like we need to, like, step it up a little bit because this is like a Peabody award-winning show. Well, that's what that dude over there is thinking as well. <laughs> he came over here. No, that's what I... I'm totally with him. Well, it's like, uh, no, you can't do that. No, we need to be, like, solving problems and stuff. I don't have any solutions to any problems. <laughs> I'm a high school dropout from another country. I don't... <laughs> I'm here to solve problems. I'm not here to help people. I'm here to help myself. Right. Oh, and the other thing is, I saw your movie, oh, How to Train oh, Your oh, Dragon. The, the, yeah, that's a good I'm movie. I'm telling you, it's a, I, this is an amazing movie. You're so funny in it. But yeah, knock it off. What are you after? Well, no, listen. Well, I had a question, which is when you do animated movies, it always seems like a dream to me because since they can't see you. Right. You don't have to wear pants. Right. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Like it's sweatpants Drive completely and a cigar. naked to the studio and just do the whole thing naked. I actually like... wore a dress not dissimilar to that for the <laughs> entire movie. How did uh, Gerard Butler, did he like it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you call him Gerard Butler? See, I've known Jerry for a long time. I call him Jerry Butler. Gerard just, is not. It's just showing off. You're like, oh, do you call him by his full name? Because I, I call him Jerry. Okay, you're not great. Friend. I, I'm not showing off because I know Jerry Butler. I'm just surprised anyone else is impressed. That's all. <laughs> Have yes. you met Have you met Gerard? No, I... He, he'd like you. Oh, would he? Oh, no, yeah. Um, every time I see him on anything, he always is, like, grinning. Like, he just had, like, sex with a thousand women. Like, and, and it's very charming, but you're just it's very disarming. Like, he's always... You can he's just had sex with a thousand women, yeah. He's, he's, he's in a good mood. Yeah. He's like the opposite of that dude over there. <laughs> Um, but that, that looked like a lot of fun to work yeah, on. Yeah, no, it was all right. Yeah, no, it was all right. Hey, listen, are you still on the Tweety? Yes. I'm following you on the Tweety. Yeah, I love are, doing are it. You, are you following me back? I'm following you. And what I love about you is you, you tweet a lot, which I think is good. Yeah. And you post a lot of photos. Yeah. With, uh, from the road and different things like that. I'm working up to photographs of me. What? <laughs> genitalia. Yeah, can you do that okay. on Twitter? Can no, you No, absolutely not. You what? just won a Peabody Award. Like, how are you... I know I have to balance things out. <laughs> That's what show business is all about, Mindy. Balanced. You win the Peabody Award, you get a photograph of your PP on Twitter. That's what you do. That's how you balance things out. That's how you embrace the people and the angry people who enjoy news. I just, I, I will feel, if you don't win next year, I'll feel like a little bit responsible for this. I just want to, we should be talking about peace or something. Wait, I have a question about your robot. Oh, yeah, okay. I think he's asleep, though. Okay. If I had a robot, right. I would make it you know, I could just have it could be anything I wanted. Yeah. I, I just want to know why you didn't pick like a, a beautiful woman who just like always was telling you how good. Like, I why is well, it? Well, you assume that I didn't. Here's the problem. <laughs> Robot technology, as I have found out to my cost, is not quite as advanced as the movies would have us believe. <laughs> I meant to say, I'm, so I'm planning on going on a trip. I have like a little bit of a vacation right now. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah, because it's hiatus. With it's the, a little yeah, bit yeah, of a hiatus. Yeah. And um, I haven't thought of any place because I, I like hate, tr I like, I like being in a place, but I hate traveling there. Right. And then when you're talking about Everest, I remembered a fact about Everest that uh -oh. I forgot, which I think is really cool and actually has a lot to do with your skeleton robot, which is that when you're 
climbing Everest. Yes. You've reached a certain point. You pass a snowy field of corpses of people who've tried to reach the top of Everest and haven't made it. You made that up. I, it is completely true. And no one can, like, at, this, at that certain point, like, no one can bring the corpses back. So you're just walking by these desiccated skeletons and uh, corpses. And, and then, like, they, and they're just standing there being like, don't, wow. don't go any further. <laughs> And it's like apparently the most chilling like a uh, field of corpses. I, I think you're on the way to get me another Peabody with this thing. <laughs> with Mindy Kaling's anecdotal yeah, Everest that's, uh, remarks. At that moment, she stopped any frivolity, and then <laughs> everybody suddenly went, "Oh boy, that's weird." But isn't that like a crazy thing? Yes, it is. And that's why I wouldn't allow my 13-year-old child to climb Everest. No, that's insane. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I mean, maybe there's a mountain climbing family. You know, like people who are. I don't know if such a thing exists, but uh, I, all the climb mountains in my family, get going. I just, I mean, I, I just, why would you want your child to be away from you in a, such a deadly situation? I, I won't really, I'm not happy about my son going in the pool. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, what, I guess it's better that the kid is climbing mountains and not... Taking drugs. Taking drugs. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think at a certain point, one's as dangerous as the other, don't you think? <laughs> hey, we're out of time. Um, I love being here. Thank you for having me. No, it's not that quick. You know, you can slow you. I got, I got stuff to do, so I gotta go. You really do? <laughs> no. Oh, no. I would stay here forever. I love being here. Do you? Well, you can hang out. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, if you want. Actually, if you can fit into that outfit there, you can have the job. It's the eyes. The eyes are what's like so... So, what, yeah. Chilling. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> well, he's just come back from Mount Everest where he was in the... Uh, yeah. No, we're out of time, Mindy. It's, it's lovely to see you, though. It's so they nice. Thank you for... Good. You're uh, coming back next season, aren't you? Yes, I am. How many, how many seasons is that now? It's going to be our seventh season. Oh, that's the lucky one. Yeah? <laughs> Money-wise. Yeah, no, I hadn't oh. thought of that. Oh. I'm not... Oh, 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 oh. I hadn't thought about liar, that. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Of the money of the show that I've been working on for I seven years. I just do it for the art. I don't even. Yes, I get paid. Nobody. I nobody on TV does it for the art. It's TV. <laughs> people paint for the art, and people do TV for cash. We're hookers. Come on. <laughs> I, I, the money is nice. Yeah, it is. Yeah. If I could. Is I that believe. Tacky yeah. to say. <laughs> Nah, it's all right. Anyway, we're, we're out of time. Um, uh, but now those commercials, which is sometimes the best part of the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's been nice, though. I'm, I've missed you. Will you come back sooner? Uh, I will. I'll come back every week. I gotta say, I do not like sharing this, this stage with him. I feel like he steals focus from me. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't mean to be like a crazy actress who needs focus, which is exactly what I am, but I just, I can't. This is too much. It's has time mohawk. to check the tweets. Yeah, right. Right. I mean, we'll check the tweets. And he only says one-liners. Like, how can I beat this? He's a, he's a robot Yeah, no. metal it's mohawk. It's time yeah, to all right, no, we check, check the, the tweets. tweets. We check right. the tweets. Right. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks Thank Jeff. You. Yeah, right. Uh, we better go. The lovely Mindy Kelly, everybody. everybody. <laughs> The lovely Mindy Kaling, everybody, Mindy Kaling. Mindy! Mindy! Wow! Look at you, girl! <laughs> you look sensational! Thank you, what a nice thing to really say. Really lovely. I, you know, it's a really, it's a new look. Oh, it is? I think so, for you, yeah. Thank you. For me, I found it a little conservative. I thought this dress was a little conservative, but that's so... No. I like your new look. That sneakers. I like it because the t-shirt is laid back, but the blazer says, like, I'm a professional, but anything could happen because of the sneakers. That's right. Yeah. The sneakers imply danger. I know. They're like Wonder Woman's underpants. <laughs> No, regular pants, I, I mean. Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Okay. No, I think it's good. I think you look like a James Bond kind of, uh, like Sean Connery era James Bond, Bond girl. Oh, my God. That Do, is the no, nicest thing that anyone has ever no, said to me. No, it's, kind of, it's, got, it's got that kind of, like, mm, oh, chance. <laughs> <laughs> like, just uncomfortable because I'm so hot. Yeah, that's right. It's like, like oh, I find clothes so restricting. <laughs> <laughs> I only wear them because I'm a smart. <laughs> Um, I was just thinking that now that Larry King is retiring, mm -hmm. 
well, if I ever have a meltdown or go into rehab, I, you, this is my first stop publicly for my big appearance. Yeah, when I come I, and that's talk right. anyway. are, are you trying to tell us something? <laughs> have you been to rehab? No, I haven't, but I'm just saying, like, when that happens. Is it about time? <laughs> <laughs> I think that this would be a good place to, I think you could ask those kind of questions. Yeah, I can, easy, yeah, yeah, well, uh, yeah. Do you want me to try? Yeah, 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 sure. All right, then. Okay, so I'm gonna so pretend. So you, you, you've just come out of rehab and I'm gonna ask you about it, right? Okay, let me get into character. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> so. So crack. It was, uh, crack was your thing, right? <laughs> yeah. And then, so you were on Santa Monica Boulevard, Eddie Murphy drives up <laughs> to drive you home, <laughs> realizes you're a woman, keeps going. I love my kids. I take care of my kids. I didn't know you had any kids. Oh, we're still acting. Right, uh, <laughs> right. Oh, no. Well, yeah, that's, oh, I hate this. No, I don't want to be like that. You weren't, you were empathetic for like a second. And then you got bored. I, I got a little bored. I it got I got a little bored because I'm more attracted to the the whole <laughs> James Bond, Sean Connery era, James, oh, like that thing. Well, I'm gonna take that as a compliment. That it is a compliment. Yeah, thank you. Yes, yeah. You got a big holiday weekend coming up, going back to uh, Boston. I did. I'm going back to Boston, the birthplace of independence. Wow. You... Can I say that? No, you can't say that. <laughs> I think it's that controversial. No, but I always go home because my birthday is around now and then we do, my parents are really into Independence Day, 4th of July. Really? As I am. Yeah, I'm very patriotic. I'm, I'm really into this Oh, that, you're taking a risk saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to come out here and say my edgiest stuff. No, no, I, I'm, I go to Boston. Yeah. I go to Boston, I do, I do the big thing every year on the, on the Esplanade and then I host this event on the Esplanade too. It's a huge deal. I mean, I think people are really, really excited. People camp out at 9 a.m. to come See him it's not posted. CD, it's not. <laughs> no, Let's it get this straight. No, they were is. doing it for a couple of hundred years before I turned but, up. And, and the, but it's a big deal in Boston. The Boston Pops are going to play. Yes, Keith Lockhart that's true. and everything. Yeah. No, when I was a kid, we used to camp out. Um, but it's such a, I'm so excited about Independence Day because I just, I love patriotic music. I love barbecues. What, what about the, uh, the sausages and the hamburgers? This and... could mean anything. This could mean anything. I thought you, like, what? Why would I have thought that's bar that's barbecue? That's no that's barbecue I'm... is like barbecue is like <laughs> like that's well, what, well, what does that mean then? This is like this could be spare change. <laughs> what is yeah. this? So so when the audience is going like that to me, they're not saying we are looking forward to barbecuing. There. <laughs> This, I, what I thought you meant was, um, what, what, yeah, I thought you were throwing a Frisbee. That's what I thought no, you meant. No, come on, that's not throwing a Frisbee. That's throwing a Frisbee. I mean, if you put your whole well, body right, into well, it. Well, yeah, that's throwing a Frisbee, and apparently this is barbecuing, although I'd have said that was pancakes. <laughs> no, this is pancakes. Because <laughs> I'm more confident doing pancakes than I had a barbecue. Really? <laughs> We don't know very Did much about each other. Did you just wink at your pancake? When I do something good, I like to check in with God. That, thank you God for letting me do that so well. So in your particular religion, winking at the most powerful creator in the universe, that's all right? It's like, hi God, just a little wink. No genuflection for you then, just a wink and a nod and on your way. Is that what it is? I identify as a Hindu and I think because there's so many gods, that we can play it a little bit more fast and loose. Well, let me ask you. I don't know. I just offended so many people. No, Hinduism is wonderful. Why would I say that about... Yeah. I'd just like to say anything that Mindy says, I do not in any way. This is terrible. Every time I come on the show, yeah. I offend someone. Oh, okay, I just saw Jeff Peterson. Yeah, yeah, he's right there. Last time I was on the show, um, I made some pejorative remarks about Jeff Peterson because... Oh, your earring fell off. Oh, oh that's good God. luck. Yeah, it is. Oh my it, oh, God. Oh, no, that is good luck. I, or it might be bad luck. It's one of the two. Okay, thank you. Like, I just... but, look, it seems like it's like, for, do you have pierced ears? I do, yeah. Yeah, that's, there's your problem. I feel like that was such a faux pas that I'm so mortified that that happened. I felt, here, no, I'm gonna... It's, it's all right. They're, really? They're, yeah, no, it happens all the time. It happened to Val Kilmer when he was here. <laughs> 
Are you all right? Do you need a mirror or something? No, I can do this. I can just sort of feel it. And most women can do this, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm just like one it. of the girls yeah, yeah. we have rapport. No, but Jeff Peterson, your skeleton, yeah. who wears a suit, yeah. when I lasted the show, my mom said, honey, you were great on the show, but I don't know why you went after that skeleton. Well, what did you say about it? Well, she liked him. I mean, it's very warm, because I thought that he was upstaging me a little bit. He was a little bit, yeah. Because he had all these like little funny comments and everything. She welcome in my world. I can't get through the monologue now. <laughs> But, um, so I came to apologize to Jeff. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, seriously. I am apologizing to you. You get a room, you two. <laughs> well, I don't think that was... Well, we're done anyway. We're done. We don't have any time. But here's a good idea. Here's a good idea. Stay. Mm -hmm. uh, do your religious beliefs allow you to eat uh, meat? Yeah, I'm barely religious. I eat meat. Yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> Why... Why don't you stay for the barbecue and, and you can, you know, glam it up, you know, because Myron's great, he's great at barbecuing, but he's, you know, he's not really my type sexually. <laughs> so, actually, actually, he is. <laughs> What's interesting is that you didn't have to bring up whether or not he was your type sexually or not. <laughs> I would love to. I can think of nothing better. Well, you want, would, you want to hang around for that? Please, yes. Oh, great. Well, we'll take a commercial break. We'll be right back with Myron Max and everybody. Ready to go. is the chief cook, uh, in my opinion, the best barbecue man in the entire United States. He does the Jack's Old South competition barbecue team. He's one of the stars of the Barbecue Pitmasters. The season premiere is on August the 12th. Please welcome the genius that is Myron Mixon, everybody. Hey, Myron. Hey, hey, buddy. Good to see you. How you doing, Myron? Good to see Mindy, you. Mindy Kaling is here as well. She's, uh, she's got a movie coming out, Myron, and she enjoys meat. So... <laughs> what kind of movie is that? Huh? Okay, no, that's yeah. not the name of the movie. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> hey, were you in a movie called She Enjoys Meat? I don't think so. That doesn't sound ladylike. No, that's not your type. <laughs> oh, right. Now, let's get cooking. That's what I say. You need to glove up first. Yeah, right. Okay. What the... We always want to glove up before you handle your meat. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what he said, but his accent is charming. <laughs> I glove up before I meet. All right. No. <laughs> Have you got gloves on? Oh, yes, yeah, I right. think. She yeah, didn't right. have that much trouble. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's probably... Never mind. Um, <laughs> look at this. Ain't that neat? Yeah, look I'm at that. Can you that. see that chicken there? Look at that. Arrangement. <laughs> the hoboes want their chicken. <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. We'll get on in the end. Okay, first thing we got here is sausage stuffed pork tenderloin. Sausage stuffed pork tenderloin. All right, you all right. take your... Come here, young lady. Okay. Let you grab yeah. it too. You Please. got one. Here you go. Thank All right, you. I'll do now, one too. The way you got to do this, if you're gonna stick a sausage in the tenderloin, you got to get a hole started. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. First thing we're gonna do, I get it straight. Do we get, just stick it? Get going now? Yes. Get it going. Well, I, I want to just get going. All right. Right, All through, right. <laughs> right through the center. All right. Right through the center. Okay. This is very All the way weirdly pleasing. <laughs> All the way out the other side. Keep it, keep it in the center. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think I did it, Myron. Look at that. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Now can I eat uh, it? What? No. Nope. No. <laughs> all, right. all right. Now we got a little hole. I'm sorry. No, you did. What great. did you? What did you do? I am, I embarrassed myself. <laughs> <laughs> now we got a little hole. Okay. All right. Slide the, that one out. Right. Slide the bigger one in. Oh, all right. I am really trying to be mature about this. Yeah, me too. But you're on the wrong show for that kind of crap, so you <laughs> might as well. Because what we're doing is we're sticking meat into another meat thing yeah. in like a... Awesome, isn't it? I... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> All right, now pull it out and come in from the other side to wallow it out. Whoa, whoa, whoa! All right, then. All right. There you go. Wallow out right, that side, good. All right. You seem to be paying more attention to what she's doing than what I'm doing. <laughs> Her hair's longer than yours. Yeah, all right. Uh, all right. right. Now what now I do? slide that out. Okay. Now, <laughs> stuff your sausage in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My sausage seems a little bit floppy. <laughs> Lay it down right here. All right then, yeah. Now feed it in. Feed it in. All right. Could you could you pull my hair a little bit while I'm... 
Kind of twist it when you go in. There you go. Blue on it twist for me. <laughs> twist it in like that? There you go. Look at you. Well, this this would be almost a... Oh, look. I bust my sausage. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's never happened to me before. I was excited. It's burst all over the place. I, you so like, real good. Can I, I know she, well, she's, you know. Anyway, look, I. What is that whack. supposed to be? No, I never mean it. Just whack that off. <laughs> just cut it off. Yeah, well, all right. Now take your bacon. Take your bacon. There you go. Now wrap it. Wrap it around? Wrap it around. All right. I'm humiliated. I, this can't, I'm, I'm making an enormous mess, Marion. I'm no, sorry. No, no, you're doing good. This is awesome. Hang on. I'm, I'm wrapping bacon around here. Look at that. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's <laughs> right. Now turn around, price it on the grill. Oh, right. Put it on the grill. There you go. Is what? this grill hot? That grill is really hot. <laughs> Let's whack yours off. Thank you. All right, now, you wrap yours. Got it. <laughs> sorry. All right. Uh, all right, wrap it around. Got it? Yeah. So now, do men like this when you cook this for a man? I'll let you like on a that. Yeah, I, if, I'm going to actually play back the, you putting the sausage in there in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> and then put it on the internet. The next thing we have here. Yeah. Those right there are boneless turkey. Boneless legs. turkey. And then you take them and you place them on the grill. But to get to that. Yeah. You have to. I probably need to do this. That sounds professional. Yeah, you know, you do it. You're the, you're the one that knows how to do it. Appealing. I like this in a man that they can cook. I think this yeah, is yeah, nice. it is. It's very, very. I can cook. Really? I didn't. But the, but, Mario, you're a cook, right? Not a chef. A cook. Barbecue man. Yeah, barbecue man. Is there a difference? <laughs> I have to earn my money. Yeah. No idea what he said. <laughs> All right, now we take our shears. Yeah. Is it? Uh, are you pissed at me? Oh, I see. You're. you're uh, Oh, wow. Okay. This is a little surgery-ish. Um, Greg, look at that. Oh, look at that. Lovely. Is this from when you were swimming with the sharks? Yeah, that's right. That's one shark that got a little too close to Poppy. Yeah. This Here is we what take they these. gave you. Yeah. <laughs> on the grill. Yeah, nice. And then you put that one on. That's, that, on the that's the, your classic, just big heart. Now thing. let's change gloves. We don't want to be handling that. All right, yeah, change gloves. Change gloves, Mindy. Always clean gloves. Yeah, yeah always you, clean. The finished product is right there. Is this the one, this is what we're making? Oh, yeah. Oh, is this one that we prepared earlier? Yeah. Oh, man! <laughs> That's like a real thing. MT, it's like what they do on TV. Yeah. See how neat it looks when a sausage actually There's goes the all the way sausage through? There's sausage inside it. It's awesome. <laughs> can I try this? Yes, you can. Yeah. Sure, sure. Oh, man. Can it's I really try good. it, too? Yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, man. We got other stuff here to cook. Nah, mm. you don't mind. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's really good. Every Listen. kind of meat you could want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You ever shut corn? I, I I can't shuck it right now. We have to go to a commercial break. But when we come back, we can have we can shuck them. <laughs> okay, we can shuck them then. Okay. All right, we'll shuck the corn. We'll take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. We're, we're almost out of time, but uh, Myron's got time to show us how to shuck corn. I said shuck. Uh, <laughs> and Mindy and I are just going to keep eating. Eating. What we're well, doing, that looks great, Myron. What we're doing now is Parmesan <laughs> roasted corn. No. You mm. shuck it and you silk it. You what? You it? what it? Shuck it and silk it. Silk it? And then you put mayonnaise all over it. Yeah. <laughs> You can put mayonnaise on anything. And yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's America. Then, then you season yeah. it. Season it. Season it, and then you take the Parmesan. Parmesan. That's Italian, isn't it? There you go. Yeah. You feel comfortable with that? <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Then that goes on the grill. Yeah. Careful, that grill's hot. <laughs> Hang on, I'll get my safety glasses in case that... All right, now we have our coleslaw. Cabbage, tomatoes, onions, bell peppers. Vegetables. <laughs> a little mayo. Yeah. That mayo makes everything good. I know, yeah. I love it. 
No. And then at the very end, we have our grilled bananas with I, apricot brown sugar sauce. That. Did you eat the bananas already? You, you didn't even talk about the bananas and you ate the bananas. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just like, oh, what's that, and just ate it? <laughs> that's not like a TV cooking I, segment. That's just like eating Tootsie Fruits. I, I know. I saw it. I gotta get it when it's right, getting right, good. Let me try it. Excuse me. So pardon me for reaching, but you know you gotta get in quick. Uh, oh, we, we gotta we gotta go. You know what that is? Yeah. What is that? Harmony. Huh? Harmony. <laughs> What's harmony? Harmony corn. Harmony corn? Yeah. Sounds good. It is good. Can I eat it? Yeah, you can eat it. All right. We gotta go. Good night, everybody. Good night. should drop by. I was just about to do the emails and, and here you are. Can you help me? I'd love to. Because some of them are addressed to you, weirdly. Oh, really? No, no. <laughs> All right, this is from Laurie in uh, Calgary in Canada. You ever been up to Canada there? Mm -hmm. Really? You enjoy it? Uh, I was about to say not that much, but then why just well, what, part, what part of Canada did you go to? I went to the Canada side of Niagara Falls. Oh, there's your problem. It was Niagara Falls. It's, it's, uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, <laughs> it's a lovely country. Oh, yeah, it's a lot been... bigger than Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls isn't the best bit. There's other stuff. <laughs> they, they got a moose. They got, um, well, they got a moose. Uh, all right, Laurie and Calgary. <laughs> that is it. She says, hi, Craig and Mindy. It's just, you don't have to do this to no. make me feel better. It's, I know that it's not real. No, it's all right. Look, hi, Craig and Mandy. Well, it's sweet that you showed the effort. Right, good. Thank you. She says, uh, I'm trying to write a screenplay and I have writer's block. What do you do when you can't write? Well, that's actually perfect for you. You write all the time, mm -hmm. don't you? Mm -hmm. What do you do when you can't write? Um, I online shop. I, I Google my enemies and see what they're doing. <laughs> I do, and then usually that inspires me to make something of myself, and I get back to writing. There you are, Lori. Uh, problem solved. It works. It really works. This is from uh, Stefan in Green Bay in Wisconsin. Have you ever been to uh, Green Bay in Wisconsin? I love Green Bay, Wisconsin. Good answer. <laughs> By George, I think she's got it. <laughs> All right. Dear Craig. Hang on. And Mindy. I have to write a paper explaining Bernoulli's principle. Can you help? Do you know Bernoulli's principle? All right. Here's Bernoulli's principle right here. Let's forget. Bernoulli was uh, uh, French. And uh, um, Imagine that's some kind of venturi or opening there. You see, if you notice that stuff coming through there, at the thin part there, it'll move faster than at the fat parts there, right? Right, you see that? See that? Yeah, right through that? Now, if you take that thing there and you add that bit to the bottom there, you got yourself an airplane wing right there, and that's, it. that's how it works. Just do that, you'll be good. Wait, was any of that real? Was that real? Uh -huh, that uh -huh. is real. I am a qualified FAA pilot, and I know the answer to this. You know, I actually thought you were going to draw something pornographic. Like, I thought that was going to be the joke, was that it was going to end up being a pair of, like, boobs or something. I know, I thought... This is the kind of thing you meant? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> 
Yeah. You want to hang on to this? I love yeah, it. All right, yeah, all right. You want me to sign it? Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah. All right, I'll just sign it. Just like Picasso. Right. There you go. You want to stick that up in your... Uh... <laughs> There you go, Ferguson. Right. Um, yeah, thank you. They've gone pixelation crazy. <laughs> I drew a penis, just in case you didn't guess. Uh, Wait, you also drew a scrotum. I, I just want to be... <laughs> I, it, well, it is a, it, it, actually, it's not a scrotum. It's uh, Yeah, it's a scrotum. Uh, <laughs> all right, this is uh, from Gina in Brooklyn, New York. You ever been to Brooklyn? Yes. And? I love it. Great. Uh, <laughs> Dear Craig, I'm going on vacation to the Bahamas. And Mindy, dear Craig and Mindy, I'm going on vacation to the Bahamas, and after listening to you, I'm really worried about the sharks. Should I be? Oh, yeah, because I went shark diving in the Bahamas. Yeah, I thought that was messed up. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I meant to tell you about this. What, when the last time you were here? Is that yes. what you're talking about? Yes. Yeah. When people do things like go hang gliding or wrestle with animals I or go nice swimming, with I know, but listen, or swim with sharks. Yes. The, the issue is, I care about you a lot. I think you're a great guy, really funny, a gift to America. If you die because a shark attacks you, no, be right, serious right, right, right now. I thought it was the time I should go in for the kiss. <laughs> Actually, that would have been that was that the perfect been the time. time. Yeah, no. If if someone if if shark kills you, people at your funeral when everyone's crying at the back of their minds they're like but he was swimming with sharks <laughs> that's all i want to say is that i want people to feel <laughs> when you die i want people to be like man that that dude should not have assassinated Craig Ferguson. That was not cool. And that is it. You know, I don't want there to be any, like, lingering feeling. Not that that's how he would get killed. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm sorry. This is your segment. I'm sorry. Talk about- I'll take my penis picture back and then okay. <laughs> All right, this is uh, from Rachel in uh, Minnetonka, Minnetonka uh, which is in America. And she says, uh, Dear Craig and Mindy, I have always wanted to become a professional model, but I just recently broke my nose. What do I do? <laughs> comedy. What do you think? Comedy? Yeah, way comedy. To go. It's the way to go, Rachel. Well, you got yourself a comedy name right there, Rachel. <laughs> Rachel and Friends? She was funny. <laughs> the f funniest comedian of all time. <laughs> I, if her name had been like Sid or Marty or Jerry, I would have said it was more... Comedian-ish? Comedian-ish. No, yeah. Rachel is a funny name. I think Rachel's a funny name. I mean, or it might be Raquel. Even less funny. <laughs> What are you talking about? It's got a K sound in it. That means it's funny. That's Knickers, monkeys, Raquel. <laughs> These are funny things. I can't argue with that. I give it that actually sounds like more of a, a model name, actually. Ra Raquel? Well, if that is your name, you better change it. Because <laughs> this ain't going to work. <laughs> or maybe it is. Maybe it can be your trademark. You, you know, you could be the, oh, look, it's that hot girl with it. Wonky nose. Yeah. All right, then. I know we don't have time, but we'll just do one more. Um, which basically, basically I told you to... Tootsie Fruits, but nicely. <laughs> All right, this is uh, from a person called Holland, uh, not the country of Holland. You can tell uh, when it comes from Holland because they're very flat. <laughs> you ever been to Holland? No. Oh. Did, is there things flat there? Is yes. that the, okay, yeah. I'm sorry, I it's didn't like get Oklahoma. the... like Oklahoma. I'm sorry, I just didn't... My international topography jokes, I don't... Topography? <laughs> yeah. I don't... I just don't... We're not on the Discovery <laughs> Channel, Mindy. I'm sorry, I feel lame that I didn't understand that reference. No, no, it's all right. Um, all right, this is from Holland and Cheyenne in uh, Wyoming. Wyoming. Yeah, all right. It says, uh, Dear Craig and Mindy, I hope to become a professional magician. What should be my first trick be? Oh. I think trick is actually what prostitutes say. <laughs> I think magicians say illusion. Mm -hmm. And as far as my memory of uh, prostitutes is vague. You have some memories? There are some, though. Look at me. <laughs> I guess that is what... Look at me. Think it through. I don't... You're... you're 
handsome guy. I don't think you would ever need to... Sometimes a handsome guy seeks the company of other handsome guys. <laughs> Adorable Mindy Kaling, everybody. Mindy Kaling. <laughs> Welcome, Mindy. Thank you. Thank you for having Welcome. me. Welcome. Mindy, may I say how sensational you look, if you don't mind me saying so. Thank you. I, why, would, I, why would I ever mind something well, like that? Well, sometimes, you know, when a creepy foreigner comments on a woman's <laughs> appearance, sometimes that's viewed on as some kind of predatory, creepy thing. But I... I love it. I have been working so hard. You look really good. I Thank mean, you. I like, mean, really good. It's, uh, I mean, really good. <laughs> I love this. This is amazing. I mean... It's, you know, I really started when I turned 30. I was like, I have to start. You're 30? No way! <laughs> now this is a little... <laughs> I just, now... Now it's like I have to start eating right and exercising, and it's like, I want to kill myself. So when someone tells me that it's nice, it feels so good. Are you doing you. a lot of... Are you doing a lot of... Uh, 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 oh, my God, like the whole thing. Really? Yeah, my life is like a hell. It's a hell. Really? <laughs> no, it's great. I really like it, but it's, um, it's the kind of thing where every... Diet is like, this isn't a diet. This is your new way of life. And if this was my way of life, yeah. I would just, it would be the, I could never do it. Are you on, a, are you on some special diet? Are you eating kind of like, um, I am so tempted to say that I'm on heroin. I am so, but why would I want to spread that? No, it's really boring. I just, I exercise. Are you on heroin? <laughs> what do you do? You look great. Heroin. Old Craig Ferguson. What is the new? What are your secrets to looking so svelte? Heroin. <laughs> no, I, I got it. I, you know what? I do. I don't eat late at night. I used to eat a lot at night because I, I like eating and watching TV and then farting myself to sleep. Mm -hmm. but I, <laughs> apparently, that's bad for you. So that's, I try not to eat later in the day. That's really it. You. That is like the sorority girl way that they put on, wait, it's like you're with your friends, you're talking about boys, you're eating Ben and Jerry's, I mean, is that what you were doing? Are you implying that I in some way creep into sorority girls and <laughs> hang out with them and talk about their friends and eat ice cream? Because if I could figure out a way to do that, I don't, I don't care about the extra weight. No, but it's, I find it, uh, I find that very nice that everyone, everyone, no matter who you are, you're like working at it. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, it's, it's really difficult. I, I, I find it very difficult to not be fat. I would be fat if I let myself eat what I wanted. Well, you're so tall that when it's stretched out on a tall no, frame... No, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. Really? It doesn't work like that. No, no, no. You just you end up being a big, giant, fat guy. <laughs> I was, if I was your height, I'll, I mean, all I would do was just eat constantly. Well, if I was you, I'd just take my clothes off and look in the mirror. <laughs> Is Jeff pro me or against me? That oh, was like he's a... definitely pro you. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's definitely pro. Actually, he's very pro NBC all round, Jeff. I don't know why. No way. Yes, way. I don't know what that means for a network if like a monster skeleton is really behind our fall programming. No, that, that's good. That's You get the dem demographic you're going for. You got the, uh, the 18 to 49 year old robot skeletons right there. <laughs> Um, yeah, we have a, a good season. We're, we're doing really good in our demo. Which yeah, is... yeah, no, you do well. How, uh, how is your season this year? What happens? The friends become enemies, enemies become friends? Yeah, like sex and sex! drugs and lots of stuff that you've come to. No, here's the thing about The Office is that it's supposed to be like an American office. Mm. So we don't have like the sort of really awesome surfing Hawaii Five-0 drugs and whatever. But it's you, a really good season. I'm directing you, you, and it's really you, fun. Oh, you're directing it? And I was trying to push more sex into everything, because sex sells. No, get off, dude. No, get off. No, get off. I'm thinking it, but don't woo me. <laughs> it's like you wooed right out of my head there. <laughs> like, I'm thinking woo, and then you had to woo. <laughs> no, but we're like in our seventh season, so sometimes I'll, I'll pitch a story, 
And they're like, Mindy, you've already said we did that already, which is like... Have you done snowed in? Ready. That's always a good one. They get snowed in. Everyone gets snowed in. Yeah. And then they all learn about each other. No, that's really good. And the other one I wanted to do was actually one that's, I think, been in, I think it was in the Brady Bunch, where I actually thought, could Michael get locked in a meat locker? Could he get caught in a freezer? And then someone was like, did and your die? brain... Bro no, just for a short time till he learned something about himself. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. he gets, like, let out. Did but you learn anything about yourself when you've been doing all your exercise and <laughs> dieting and everything? I Why? Is this for a part or something? Or no, it's, not, it's just for life. It's just for happiness. You know, but I will say, I hate exercising so much that I have to fantasize when I'm exercising that something else is going on. Yeah, me too. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have to pretend that when I'm like running or something that my husband was murdered and I'm running after the murderer. Like it's a whole thing. And, or someone kidnapped my mother and I'm like, I'm gonna get you. I swear to you. No, it's the only way to keep me going. Otherwise, I, didn't, I didn't know you got married. Oh no, that was also made up. I'm not married. No, no, I'm not married. No, it's, it's... Oh, I see. You invented a husband who was then tragically murdered and you're chasing his murderer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you want to dial it back a little bit. <laughs> It's very theatrical, and then I never think that the other. Well, I'm I'm imagining it, but like my facial expressions when I'm doing my exercising is living the experience, and I think it really creeps out everyone else who is the gym. Well, do you go? To, do you, is that what you do? You go to the gym, or do you go to the Pilates? A lot of the ladies like the Pilates. I I can't do the Pilates. I don't like it myself either. What have you done it? No, but I've known women who have. Yeah. First of all, I can't handle Pilates because I don't like going to an exercise where everyone's hot already. I've never gone to a Pilates class and there's been like overweight, regular looking people. It's all like people maintaining a hot look. You know, that's true now right? as I think about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the equipment, it looks a little bit medieval. You know, they. Uh, totally. Yeah. Those reformer yeah. machines. Give them the rack. And you're like, oops, oops, oops. I like working out with people who, you know, when people lose a lot of weight and then they hold their old pants out. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. I like to work out with those people before they lost their weight. I, I like to go and buy really big pants and then walk around the gym going, look at that, everybody. And then hot girls go, wow, you've really done some work on yourself. I'm like, you bet I did. And then the girls are like, man, that is sexy that you used to be morbidly obese. Yeah, that, that, there's a guy who's got loose skin. <laughs> Hey, do you know who lost a ton of weight? Drew Carey, he lost a ton of weight. Like 60 uh, pounds or something. Okay, look, I'm happy for him, mm -hmm. but if you can rock plump the way that Drew Carey rock did. plump, yeah. I think you gotta, you just gotta do that. I mean, he's like. I, I, I have to agree, Drew's my friend, yeah. but I, I haven't talked to new thin Drew yet and I'm a little scared. <laughs> I just, that was like, I think that's so amiable and, you know, girls find him hot, like Seth Rogen and stuff, like, I, I see him and I'm like, oh, you didn't have to get so thin. Right, yeah. Well, when they get thin, I start thinking, oh, oh, they're dying their eyebrows next. That'll yeah, be, that's yeah, yeah, what's next. Slope. Yeah, yeah, they'll be Drew dying their eyebrows. Well, I don't pants. think Drew will no. dye his eyebrows. He hasn't got any eyebrows. <laughs> well, I might as well tell you, he doesn't have eyebrows, he has them put on. Really? Yeah. Shut the front door. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's amazing what elicits a response. Yeah, I know. From it's him. very odd. You never know what's going to come out of him. Since I've started. Who makes Dunder Mifflin look sane? He watches The Office. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's a big fan of many NBC programs. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've noticed that Jeff has had a, a bigger part on the show. He's really feeling a little bit more yeah, comfortable. Yeah, I, I noticed that too. <laughs> out after work and stuff? Well, actually, to be honest, that's Drew Carey. <laughs> so I was trying, I was passive aggressively talking about maybe he's lost too much weight. No, you have to stop now, by the way. That's it. No more weight loss, right? Don't go into these, one of these. Oh, no, Hollywood. no, 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 no. I'm going to get, my goal is to lose oh, no, enough don't. weight. I want to be like 20 pounds underweight so I can eat my way back up. Ah. Like get down to like 93 pounds. No, it's very that's very unhealthy though to get that thin. I know. Plus, then the only men that will find you attractive will be gay. That's fine. I'll have that time where I'm just like with hanging out with gay guys all the time. People are worried about me. Listen, like little girls. I'm just joking. Like don't try to be ultra. Th I have to say don't, this. Yeah, no, you do. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's I'll, not right. CBS cares. I'm yes. <laughs> I'm 
I'm, uh, I, you know, I barely eat healthy. But yeah, I mean, it's a fantasy. Everyone wants to be a little yeah, bit healthier. Yeah, no, I understand that. But it's a true thing. It's, uh, you see people get too thin. Isn't the young women getting too thin? I don't understand it myself. I've never, ever been attracted to a very, very thin woman. My wife has an ass on her. <laughs> and now, I can say that because she doesn't watch this show. But I, <laughs> It's it's a fabulous thing. I don't what I don't want to some kind of rickety Jeff Peterson arrangement in there. That is so, you're such a good guy. No, I'm just heterosexual. I love this, and I if I this is my might be inappropriate. I've now been in the show several times. It's great that your wife I think has an ass because you have no ass. Is that okay to say? I've noticed that. You're wrong in oh so many ways. Okay, well. No, I just wear spanks when I'm doing the show. <laughs> Hey, we're out of time already. Oh. I know. I just stay here forever talking about weight loss. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of good, isn't it? It makes me feel kind of daytimey. It's a daytime show. Yeah, yeah. I was about to start weeping about it. Oh, well, whatever. Well, no, no, Next no. no. We'll, we'll wait if you're going <laughs> to. Hey, pull in slowly and exploit her bad feelings. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, nice. Maybe some. Do we have any daytime TV music? No, probably not. Too expensive. <laughs> All right, I'll do some, I'll do some. Hold on, I got this. All right, go on and see. get a bit weepy about your weight loss. I just thought no one will love me unless I weigh 105 pounds. And they said, just give up on finding a boyfriend. <laughs> that was great. Thank you. Wow, that was really good. Please welcome the lovely Mindy Kaling, everybody, Mindy Kaling. Hello, Mindy. Hi, how's it going? Good. You look lovely. Look at your dress. It's so sparkly. You're like a sexy science fiction lady. <laughs> You gotta look good. Yeah, you do look good. You gotta good. look good. You live by that rule. Uh, except tonight. <laughs> you look sensational. Well, you, you were, I was following you on the Tweety. You were at the White House Correspondence. I was, on yeah. Sa Saturday night, right? Mm -hmm. Did you not see anything? Was Obama kind of like, I got big news coming, I'm telling you. Nothing? Nothing Listen, at all? I, they always say hindsight is 2020. 50, right. 50, 2020. No, yeah. <laughs> I think, and as, as, since I was watching him, I think that there was something in him where he had like a little bit of a secret. I'm amazing at reading faces, as you know. <laughs> I just what am I like... thinking now? <laughs> oh, fuck it up! Oh, Jeff's The thing is, here. it's true! He was exactly right! <laughs> Is it, you've been on with Jeff before, haven't you? Yeah, and I've had a little bit of a contentious relationship with Jeff. Yeah, yeah, a lot of the ladies do. Um, yeah. And then you brought him to, to Vegas. I took him to Vegas to love its custard, your favorite place in yes. Vegas. Yeah, and I was a little upset because I thought that was kind of our thing. But then you also brought Carrot Top. Yeah, well, I was in Vegas. you got to take got Carrot, Carrot Top, Top. Or, else, or else you're not really there. And yeah. a leprechaun. A leprechaun, yeah. You always a little bit of luck in Vegas doesn't hurt, you know. And then, and then two men dressed up as a horse. Secretariat. Yeah. Okay, I just want to know what my where I fall on the list. Who's of out of the door, man? That horse. Yeah. Yeah, that was a long weekend in Vegas. That's what that was. I want you, I want you to tell me about the White House Correspondents Dinner, though. Because I, I talked to that once. I did that once. I know, I know. It's horrifying. Oh, it's horrifying. It looks, it looks incredibly oh. difficult. Oh, no. oh, it's It was awful. fun. I saw um, Crystal Palin. She was sitting wow. at the table. Yeah. <laughs> Extremely sweet woman, sweet girl, uh, loves the office, loves my character. I told everyone, told my parents, who are uh, both Republicans, so they loved it. And then I, I don't know, but this news, the Osama bin Laden news, is just like amazing. Like, I was very interested in the fact that he lived in a mansion. Yeah, yeah, I know. I would have thought a small apartment would have been more fit. Something modest. Yeah. But like, I watch the real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Right. So I know what mansions are like. Mansions are. Do you watch the Beverly Hills one? Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, I love that. You know that woman that's just mostly a lip? <laughs> yeah. 
she's like, I'm like, oh, sweetheart. And she's like, I feel great. And I'm yeah. like, you're a lip. <laughs> and then the other Not even two. There, and there, there's, there, my favorite is the English one who oh, dresses yeah. up her dogs. Yeah. Because I feel like Is that code? Dresses up her dogs? Yeah, no. <laughs> them is real at all. No, no. But like it's just it's just amazing and they're all just obsessed with pointing out who's phony, who's not phony. Right. But anyway, so I know mansions because they live. Their they all live in like, mansions and uh, they're they're rich. You better believe it, girl. They have slaves. They have, I feel like they have slaves. Like I don't, I don't think like, they I don't think they have slaves. <laughs> I do. They're so No, I'm they're pretty people, sure they don't have slaves, slaves and they have slaves. No, I think they are, but no. I but anyway, so when they showed inside of Osama bin Laden's Castle. I didn't. I didn't. I haven't His, seen it. I actually was out of town, so I haven't seen the the inside. No, you know. I mean it's like a timeshare in Fort Lauderdale. It's not. Uh, no. Good. No, I mean it's really not. It's not that good. They didn't have internet. They didn't have internet. He there. didn't have internet. Yeah. What a name, loser. I know. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I was, but I was, uh, but I, I, I actually heard that you might, you actually do watch Real Housewives. I do, I do. I really, I really am kind of fascinated by it because I live in, in Los Angeles and, okay. and I'm always kind of amazed by not so much the people who live and work here who have, are like real people like teachers and doctors and stuff like that, but the people who are in show business who are. Crikey Dingo! Crikey Dingo! Yeah, I mean. <laughs> I mean, and there's, I mean, some of them are very, very nice, right? I mm -hmm. mean, you're very nice. Mm -hmm. That's about it. But yeah. <laughs> no, there's lots of nice people, but there are a very, it's a higher percentage than normal of douchebaggery in LA <laughs> than you see elsewhere. And that show to me is kind of like, God, yeah, that's a lot of people aspire to them. I aspire to No, it. you do not. Oh my God. You do not. If I'm like these women, they like own every casino, they own basketball. If I had that much money, you would not recognize me. I would be like, had to, I'd have blonde hair, I would have different, my eyes would be different colors and stuff. No, 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 my come on, you've got a bit of money, you, you, you've been on the... You've been I don't a, have that kind of money. Yeah, come on, you've got wig money. <laughs> you got wig money. I could probably you get You got wig money, you've got wig. contact lens money. I don't have slave money, though. They, they don't have slaves, would you I stop saying that? <laughs> Plantations. They, they have don't live in plantations. And they're, they're not. I mean, okay. If you sat down Camille Grammer and asked her point blank, do you have slaves? I think she would be like, uh, uh, of course not. But you would know that she did. I don't, Mindy, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Have you ever considered? You're doing pretty well. No. You hosted the White House Correspondents' Dinner. Yeah, I did. I, would you ever do that? Uh, I, it looks incredibly difficult. It's very... Uh, it's Seth um, Myers did mm -hmm. it, didn't he? He did I, it spectacularly. Yeah, no, he's good. He's good. Yeah. Yeah, he's good. I would... <laughs> I had trouble giving good. toasts at like birthday parties, so I don't think I could do that. No, you did an excellent job. I actually, it was all right. It was you. all right. It was all right. I, when I, I did it when the Jonas Brothers were there, that's that's the hard, <laughs> that's the hardest one to do. I actually, I heard about them that they shut down. Like there's more security in the Jonas Brothers and for the president. Right. Like, that they were getting mobbed that year. Well, it was uh, it was the last when I did it. It was the last uh, White House Correspondents Dinner for uh, George W. Bush. Okay. And you know, and, the, and so you know, it was his last one. So they were like, ah, oh, he'll be fine. But let's guard the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> Yeah, that seems inc and because I feel like the, it would be very hard. There's, it, it's the only place where you could you're going to offend somebody. Oh it's no! Just everybody. Pretty much every night I come out here, I know. <laughs> I know. By the time I leave here, someone's going to be pissed off and angry, and I'm going to have to, in some way, not give a rat's ass. <laughs> um, but do you worry about that with your comedy that you're going to upset people? Uh, well, I don't do what you do, which is like give you know talk to I play a character that on a TV show, so I don't really do that very. Yeah, but much. what about what you're doing now? All that slave talk that's gonna piss some people off. That will offend slave owners. Camille Grammer is probably not gonna no, be a big no, fan no, of mine. No, 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 no. <laughs> Why we'd let it go, and then I, I I guess I brought it back around, but don't you know? Is it so wrong to say that if I was as rich as Camille Grammer that I would have slaves? No, is that it, yes, so it's wrong. wrong to say? Yes, it is wrong. It's morally I it's, wrong. It's, I think it's refreshing that people are willing to speak bluntly like this. That's what America needs. It's what America needs. Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Do not applaud this woman's insanity. Why? Have you been drinking? <laughs> okay. A little bit. I get nervous for this show. You yeah, yeah, but I mean, you, you can overcompensate with the nerves and get completely toasted and come out here going, ah! <laughs> 
I, I take point taken. Yeah, right. So, you know. <laughs> did you see Donald Trump at the White House thing? I did see him. He was not pleased. He was very upset. I find that very gratifying, I have to say. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, the thing about it is that when he was getting made fun of, it would have been made such a difference if even if he was so hurt inside, if he just pretended to laugh and enjoy it, because people would think, oh, he's like a cool guy. Oh, but come on, who thinks Trump is cool? <laughs> who you mean, Trump looks in the mirror probably and goes, I'm an ay caramba. <laughs> but, but if I front it out, somehow I'll keep going. I'll think big and kick ass or whatever the uh-oh he talks about. <laughs> I, I must I must say that that one in particular I'd like oh you can keep going all day with that one. The one oh, the one issue I take with Trump is I watch The Apprentice sometimes. Do you? Yes, and they will. I mean, they really I mean all these reality shows. We're now used to them dragging out yeah. decisions who gets fired, but yeah. he takes the case. You know what's the worst for that? House Hunters International. How much reality television do you watch? Because I know like you know you have a family. Like how do you how are you I watching? Only watch, I actually watch two shows. Okay. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, okay. House Hunters International, <laughs> uh, oh, and Mythbusters, and, Myth you and, like, sh and Shark Week. Do you like Hunters, Busters? I like, I like, slave <coughs> I like, I like women who are mostly plastic. Yes. Uh, I like uh, international houses. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen House Hunters International? They're not hunting houses. No, no, no. It's great. They, it's great. They, they have this thing. It's always Canadians that are looking for a house. <laughs> it's like Pat Cindy are a Canadian couple and they're looking for a house in like, you know, like war-torn Bogota or something like that. <laughs> and you're like, you're crazy, don't move there. Like, we want a place that's affordable by the beach. You go, yeah, there's a reason why it's affordable. <laughs> Show. Wait, so what, do you, house Hunters International, it's a great show. What ends up happening to them? They go, they well, go like you know, they choose house. a house and then that's the end. But okay. you know, I think stuff happens after that. <laughs> okay, I gotta watch that. I've been right. spending a lot of time uh, with my folks. I've been at home a lot and I've been watching TV with You're them. You in Boston all the time? I'm in Boston. I'm there a lot. Are you watching The Hoop? Yes. Um, they're, they're you get, you get, the you're getting your ass kicked by Miami right now. Did you know that? I think we're like one game into the series. Okay. So just, I mean, for the record. It, it, it was a pretty big game, though. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, like, I love LeBron, even though he has press conferences like every day or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I do love the Celtics, and I hope they go all the way. Okay. I should be saying that in Los Angeles. Oh. But I, uh, that's surprising. There's so many Celtics lovers here. I usually say that. No, they're people. just happy to be included. <laughs> I watch a lot of TV with my parents, and it's really sweet because they love watching movies and things. But I don't know if you have this relationship with your parents, but they'll watch watch like 40 minutes of a movie, and they both fall asleep. I have that relationship with the TV. <laughs> and then next day, I'm like, so what did you think? And they love. I can't do a full episode of House Hunters International. <laughs> Well, they, they just need to see a portion of something. It's a very kind of interesting way of watching television to feel like they enjoyed it and liked it. Mm. We watched Date Night the other day. They sat 40 minutes, both of them fell asleep. In the morning, they're like, we love Date Night. That was just an amazing movie. They're like, how do you even know? They're like, we, we thought it was headed in a good direction. That's the kind of positive attitude that's going to work for you in I, life. Watch, I like that. They will watch half of my interview tonight. They'll fall asleep. They're watching it right now. And they will be like... <laughs> They're like, we knew Matt you Lucas might want to talk to well. her about this before she comes on. <laughs> I mean, we cut out the worst of it, but come on. I am not an alcoholic for just thinking that. Okay, maybe. Yeah. from the office, but she can write things too. What? <laughs> Her new book is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me and Other Concerns is in stores now. Please welcome the adorable Mindy Kaling, everybody. Mindy. Adorable. Thank you. I like your dress. Thanks very much. It's sexy. I like when you introduce me that you call me beautiful. You are beautiful. I know. I love it. I just, you know, when you're a writer, because I'm, I'm... Yeah, I know. I see that. Look at that. They're not... Authors are not like a good-looking group of people. Wait. <laughs> oh, no. W who's this little nugget on the back here? Uh-oh. Let's 
do it this way. Before, after, before, <laughs> after. She's adorable. Well, I figure if I'm going to put a cute picture of myself on the front, yeah. I have to show what the truth was. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's like... <laughs> you look like... You look like a very small political correspondent. <laughs> You know, I can see this person doing a field yeah. report uh, on Anderson Cooper's show. Absolutely. Yeah. I precede Rachel Maddow's program. Yeah. Like, I'm like the just before hers. What is the book about? Uh, it's memoir, comedy essays, that kind of stuff. Really? But listen, you... but listen. Okay, I've read your memoir. Right. I've read both your books. Yeah. It's not as interesting because you've had a pretty interesting life. <laughs> I'm Mindy, saying, Mindy, Mindy, you're here to sell the damn book. You know what I'm saying? It's not it's interesting. It's boring. No. It's pretty. No, but I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Like, it's memoir, but I didn't have... I'll be the first to say it. I think it's a great book, super funny. But, like, you know, I didn't have addictions, necessarily. Well, I, that's, that's going to work against you. And the old, uh, no, but I like reading books for people, you know. People, do you know what you know? happened to me when my book came out? Ted Kennedy's book came out. Postumally, he died a few days earlier. Okay. And uh, Mackenzie Phillips's book came out, and where she talks about having a sexual relations with her father. Yeah. And uh, and then and my book came out, and I'm like, well, what the hell chance have I got here? Um, but I'm so much happy. Aren't you happy that you didn't live? Oh, in the I'm very best? happy. I was fine. But, you know. So when does it? It's, it's out. Then. It's out. It's, it's been doing out. well. Have you sold a couple? Yeah, I'm doing. It's pretty good. Yeah. You, doing the book tour, you going around meeting the folks and having them tell you how you should live your life? Yeah, absolutely. Well, here's the thing is when I do, you've done a book tour mm. and people are like, oh, sign my book. Mm. And at the beginning, I, I didn't know they want me to personalize it and leave like a message. So I usually just wrote like, I hope you like this book. Right. And then... That's a pretty nice message. But I thought I, I should, you know, they, they waited to come and meet me. Right. They want to hear something more inspirational. So, I, so now I write things like, never doubt yourself. <laughs> really? Yeah, and things like that. What about one day we'll find it, the rainbow connection? Right <laughs> yeah, that. that's really good. So I've been signing it like I'm Bruce Jenner or something like I've... Bruce over... Jenner? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I don't want Bruce Jenner's <laughs> words of advice. Uh, well, you know, if nothing else works out, just get <laughs> some more surgery. What the hell? Jenner? He was an Olympian before he was. Yeah, he the was. Train wreck. When he was a young man. He was yeah, spectacular. He but was. Times they are a changer. <laughs> he did. He had a weird act too for his life. Yeah, it's an odd one. Yeah. Would you ever do that? I mean, you're a very beautiful woman, but time will come after you like everyone else. Would you at any point think about? Oh my God! Like that. What? You're talking about if I would ever enhance myself. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah. The minute I start looking raggedy, I'm at the doctor's office. <laughs> I find this refreshing. Well, everyone, what are you going to work on first? Any ideas? I feel like... I can help you out here if you need anything. Uh, no, I don't, I don't need... No, I'm fine. No, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I feel like... I, I, I'm not interested in that. I feel young. I'm 32. Yeah, you're so very young. I don't young. feel like you're I very need young, to You're very young. You're beautiful. There's, you can mess with any of it. You know, and you just, see so many people who do it, and it's like so crazy. Like every Housewives show. I know you're... We're the, big oh, fans. the Beverly Housewives show? Yeah. I, I mean, watched it for a while, but it started making me feel unclean. <laughs> It's pretty... It's terrible. It's pretty wretched. I mean, it makes the New Jersey one look like, you know, PBS. <laughs> I mean, it's like... Oh, Lord, it's these true. people are skanks. Yeah. Oh. It's really true. I know. No, but I mean, you know, if it happens... I mean, and you'll know, too. Because when I do it... Oh, I'm, I'm getting some done gonna... soon. I'm, I'm ready. Oh, yeah? To, yeah? What are you? First thing, screwed them. Uh... <laughs> I mean, and, and a man, that thing gets wrinkly, like... Right away. I mean, the candor with which you're telling me this makes me feel like maybe you've forgotten that I'm like a, a woman, like on your show. No, I haven't forgotten you're a woman, but I. Like, I'm like a mechanic to you. No, or no, 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 no. No, Mindy, you must understand. I, 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 I see you exactly as you are. Uh -huh. I love women, but I'm not. Uh, I don't romanticize women. Do you know what I mean? I just, yeah, I, I, I talk to them like I talk to men. Like, I don't give. I got a map. So if I was like Charlize Theron or like Kate Middleton, okay. you would tell them about how you were going to replace your scrotum. Sure. <laughs> but I don't, I don't know if I would tell Kate Middleton because I don't think... You'd be arrested. You know, yeah, well, I'd have to run after her. You know, I'd be like, Kate, Kate, I've got some news. She'd be like, oh. <laughs> it's about my scrotum. Shoot him. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> no, no, I, would, I wouldn't do that. Do yeah. you send holiday cards out? Because you were talking about that. Do you do that? Yeah, yeah I do that, yeah. Are they funny? Because you're such a funny person. No, I'm, I'm not actually. Inside, I'm like, you know, that tears of a clown thing? Yeah. That's like me. <laughs> yeah. So it's just a long letter of a long emotional letter. I, I letter. send a lot of uh, information out about my family and what the kids have been up to. So I got two kids now. So yeah. People want to know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they do. Yeah, That's they do. That's do really you nice. send a, a, a big Christmas card out? Uh, it's weird to send a photo card with updates about your family when you're like a single woman living in life. Well, you could, you could talk about your you know, dating life and stuff like that, saying, well, I met this guy who was a jerk, or he had a very smooth scrotum, or something like that. <laughs> I went too far. No, I, I went too far. You're right. I, how would you possibly know that until you were married? I, I'm, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I was rude and, un, you know, uh, not polite. Um, I, uh, no, I always think about sending out a card, but I always wanted to be like a photo of me or something. But it's just... It, well, why don't you, you know? You, look, you get a lovely little photo there. Get yeah. yourself another little outfit similar to this. Yeah. Send out a card. People or the one like, in the back. <laughs> yeah, you can send that out. Yeah. yeah. So when people Pe are opening People will be sending you money if you send that out. <laughs> Save a child in India. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. As a child star in the TLC uh, series Androgynous Kids and Puppets. <laughs> the less successful predecessor to Toddlers and Tiaras. Did you, uh, did you watch that Toddlers and Tiaras show? Yes, I do, yeah. I, I don't. Well, I, I feel like you just shamed me because I was like, oh, you do? This is great. No, it's no, I didn't. I, yeah. no, I, look, it's there's really... a difference between you could watch it, you're a funny, intelligent woman. You can be ironic about it, mm -hmm. you can use it as material. If I watch it, to catch a predator are coming in my door. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I'm like, oh, look at them little girls. <laughs> look at them little girls all dressed up. Oh, they're pretty. <laughs> That's, that's not, there's no right. It's a pretty disturbing show. So what are you watch then? What are you watching on the telly box now? Well, I'm, do you, I work in comedy. Yeah, so I know. I just like, I just like grizzly murder. Because <laughs> it's so different than what I normally do. Grizzly murder, I haven't seen that. What, what is that? <laughs> I mean, that's the genre I like. Really? Do you watch the, uh, the CSIs? You know, where they solve crimes using sperm? You know, <laughs> not violent enough for me. Not violent enough? No, I like watching like... I like like Law and Order SVU. That's pretty. What network's that? On NBC. Never heard of it. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, we try to think whatever. Because I just I like. We've, Do you read the about gritty, you, you, you read the gritty crime novels? Do you read the, the like the noir thrillers? I, I do. I, I they're okay. Like I'll read some of them, but I actually like going like true crime websites. I'll go on to look you at. You go to true crime websites. I like scaring myself. That's my big thing that I like to do. Listen. <laughs> Listen, there are so many murders that we don't hear about because the news deems that too disturbing. <laughs> I do, so I live alone and then I, I scare you myself. Live alone and you scare yourself. Yeah, but uh, the scariest thing about my house actually is my alarm system. Because I just got broken into. My house got broken into. Every couple months, my house just, it's like a ritual, it gets broken into. What? That's not right. No, I know. I, it's, it's, it's worse because I live get, in... get yourself. You ever uh, heard of what we call in America a gun? <laughs> Someone, about someone, that. Yeah, no, sometimes if someone breaks into your house, what you do is you shoot them. I've actually thought about this, but I'll tell you one thing. Mm. Guns don't come, like, they're not cute. Oh. Like, guns don't Depends get, on what you like. <laughs> you can't get, like, a cute pink yes, you gun. Can. Yes, you can. You get yourself a little derringer, it'd be beautiful, it'd be adorable in your handbag. Get, get yourself a concealed weapons permit, you'd be fine. Like the one that, like, a little old lady keeps Ooh, in her purse? Yeah, they make little girly guns now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, still well, kill I'll you, but it's a little girly gun. Yeah. All right, then I'll get a gun. No, you don't need a gun. What you get? What you get yourself a big dog. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you like dogs? I do like dogs. Well, what about a nice big German Shepherd? Um, I would love a German Shepherd. Right, or a dog. Yeah, I, I think. <laughs> All you sheep get over here. Sorry. You just became like my uncle. I know. I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. <laughs> I... No, I think I would. I would like a dog. The only thing about um. I know, I should get a dog. They, they, they kind of like, they take a lot of maintenance, correct? And they like slobber a lot and they sleep in your bed with you sometimes? That's a husband. <laughs> a whole different thing. Maybe it's time for that. Maybe it's time for that. I have a perfect guy for you. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lives oh. in Scotland, though. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Would you move there? I'd move there. That's a romantic comedy. Like, L.A. girls restarts her life in Scotland. Yeah. They all want to see it. Uh, what, it's that, what, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Dance? What?
what happened? I heard music. <laughs> what happened is, whenever someone says the name of the town that we were in, yeah, we we're now doing that. For some I don't know why. It's so stupid, but every name. <laughs> And I, I, you're meant to only do it so if we say the like full name of the town. But the audience kind of jumped the gun. You only said, you only said the initials of the town. I'm so confused. Yeah. This is like yeah, summer camp. This is like summer camp. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Or, or, or uh, juvie. Same thing. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen, we're out of time. Uh, do you wanna do you wanna go for the big cash prize or awkward pause or a mouth organ? What do you want? Big cash prize. What time is the shadow, Stephen? Time for the big cash. You can win the $50, you can answer a very simple question, or you can guess what's in my box. Now, that's a little trickier. What happens is, I imagine a box in my head, mm -hmm. I don't know what's in it. Okay. Only Jeff knows what's in it. You have to guess. If you're right, Jeff will tell you. Jeff mugs now, for the record. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Jeff's like, when you say Jeff, he's like... I know, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's a ham. He's like Gidget yeah. now. <laughs> He's got his own fan sites and stuff like that. It's crazy. Yeah. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Hey. Yeah. So, what do you want to go? Guess what's in my box? Yeah, or? yeah. Guess what's in your obviously. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. All yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, here we go. I'm imagining a box. <laughs> Nothing unusual about that. Uh, I'm imagining a box. Okay, there's something in it. Go ahead and guess. Um, um, Kate Middleton. Jeff? The correct answer is wrinkly scrotum. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Well, Jeff? I was supposed to say a wrinkly scrotum. No. Just so we get everything clear, that's what I was supposed to no, say. No, no, you weren't supposed to say anything. In fact, Jeff, I think there might be something else in the damn box. <laughs> what else is in it? All right. <laughs> Oh, what do you do, Kate Middleton? Oh, creator and star of the Mindy Project, which is mm, Tuesday nights on Fox. <laughs> what? <laughs> Take a look at this. Great. Thank you. Really nice. I like your lacy arms. Thank you very much. A little Downton Abbey. Yeah, it's good. It's right? very Downton Abbey. It's very, I say, Mindy Kaling, how very, very nice to see you. Yeah. <laughs> Who like, that? It's, it's uh, Downton Abbey in That's a creepy a way. Downton Abbey guy? Yes, it's all right. Talking about. This is absolutely marvelous to see you. Do you like, I love that show. Do you watch it? Yes, I do. It's fantastic. It Jeff is. and I watch it all the time. Very romantic. Jeff watches it? <laughs> sure. What is Jeff, what's the entry point for Jeff on that show? He liked the Turkish gentleman that died in the first series. <laughs> <laughs> That's so specific. You know what I'm talking of about. Course. Yeah. All the women who saw that show knew who that guy is. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was like, okay. I, I had a problem with that, though. Because well, when he died, he was like, fine. He's a yeah. young man. He's fine. Yeah. And then the next day, he's dead. <laughs> and I'm thinking, couldn't they have, like, in the scene before, had him go, <coughs> I'm okay. The tiny. The... Just something. I kind of yeah, like, yeah. oh, I've got a bit of a headache. Or something kind of like, oh, ah, nah, it'll be nothing. You know, something. When someone coughs in a PBS show, they're done for. Yeah, the when someone coughs in any movie, they're... like, you know, in the first reel, that's what they, if someone goes, if you go into a movie and someone goes, <coughs> they're in big yes. trouble. No, they're, <coughs> they're going to be in a hospital. This is, this looks so nice. I haven't you, been you here like a little it? bit. Yeah. It's very classy, upscale. Oh, yeah. Look at that fire roaring in the grate right there. Look at that. 
It's amazing, and, and you, you know what I like? You upgraded, but you, your old friends are still here. You didn't get new friends. Oh, yeah, I don't have new friends. <laughs> yeah. You're now, listen, congratulations on the, uh, the show, your own show. You're like yeah. Mary Tyler Moore, but on Fox. Oh, well, that's such a nice compliment. Thank you, I yeah, hope. Yeah, no, it's, it's fantastic. You're, you're a girl about town, and you, mm -hmm. you work for Lou, is that right? In the, uh, Grant, in yes. the newsroom, I'm, and uh, Murray is your friend. Yeah, yeah, we're just remaking the Mary Tyler Moore oh, show. Oh, great. That'll Hoping be... nobody notices. <laughs> uh, no, but she's amazing. It's, a, it's really fun. And as it turns out, not profound, it's great to be the boss. You're the boss? I'm kind of the boss. Nice. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm like mean. I'm a little mean as it also, also turns out. Yeah, good, good for you. But you know, people respond to mean. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. No, no. Well, they do, but then they, they talk about you. Uh, you. You can't be one of the gang anymore if you're no. the boss. Look at Saddam Hussein, right? What happened to him? That's, that's one example you could use. <laughs> are, you, are you a nice... You're the boss here. No, you, no. Do people... <laughs> yes, you no, are. No, no, no. I'm the... What am I? I'm the, <laughs> I'm the pretty one. <laughs> Just like, you know what, let's not, he's just, he's there, he's good looking, he's the eye candy. That's it, that's what they all are just like, let's just bring out the European guy. And then, I'm kind of like the Turkish gentleman in Downton Abbey, yes. but the late night version of yes. that. Yes. You know, that's interesting, you are, <coughs> <laughs> you are a handsome European guy, but in general, if you're Scottish, European is like much more people, the connotations are like Italian, Greek, that, but you are a handsome European guy. <laughs> Like, like it somehow surprises no, you. No, no, no. I think you're a beautiful woman no, no, from no. America. But you're funny, so people aren't necessarily, that's not the first thing people think of you. Yes, they think yes. they're funny and... <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> um, you have a lot of place to dance. I was, I was really enjoying all this. Oh, God, I'm so bad at dancing. Really? Yeah. I, thought, I thought you went to the clubs and you were like, here yeah. come the players. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great impression to me. I can dance when like everybody's drunk. Right. So there's no sense of like, you know, no one judges my dancing. No How about one you? will judge your dancing here. <laughs> there's a horse dancing here. <laughs> there's a there's a, a giant horse made of velour dancing here. What alluring eyes though. Yeah. <laughs> His no, eyes no. were like. Well when I say I'm the <laughs> When I say I'm the pretty one, I'm really lying, of course. Uh, <laughs> Secretariat's the pretty one. Secretariat's lashes yeah. and yeah, it's kind very of nice. eye shadow. It's, it's, it's weird. It's kind of like, it's a little over the top. It's a little bit like a kind of drag queen slash horse or a horse slash drag queen. <laughs> it is. It's, it's, it's working. Yeah, it kind of is. Tell me about the show. What happens? Do you play a doctor? I play a doctor. Okay. Um, I, That's good. Yeah, no, doctor is a great thing to be. It also, as it turns out, like really um, excuses bad behavior because everyone likes doctors because it's pretty. No me. Possession. <laughs> no. <laughs> she's very. She's funny. She's. What she's kind parties. of a doctor? Uh, lady doctor. Yes, O B G O I N. Really, lady yeah. doctor. Yeah. Oh. And um, oh. <laughs> well, you know. Hard for guys to a little. Uh, yeah, no. Well, it's just you know. I mean, sometimes <clears throat> you know, I've got a couple of kids. I was there when they were born. It's mm -hmm. like. No! You know. Was that hard for you to watch? I would assume it was. It's not. It's, it's not hard for you to watch at the time. It's very beautiful. The birth of your children, of course. It's, what's a little tricky is that you know later on when there's a completely different agenda and you're in a similar neighborhood and you go, oh yeah, oh yeah, and then like like a hand from the grave, it kinda, you know, in your mind, in your mind, in your mind. It's very vivid. The, it's kind of vivid, yeah. You know, yeah. How about you? Are you dating right now, anyway? <laughs> right, exactly. Um, I'm not, actually, because now that I have this new job creating this show, I'm, I'm really busy. But I'm, like, boy crazy. as you, I've, We've talked about guys all the time in the show, so, but it's hard to meet them in my current job. Yeah, you just, just hire them and then make them, you know, <laughs> do what you want. No, that is... You're the boss. That's great. I, I just say, I, you will be my boyfriend tonight. Take me out and feed me. So... What you're describing, I think, is illegal, actually, to, to oh, coerce people. Oh, yes, it's illegal into... until you get to Hollywood. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hi. Um, but what? We have, to, we have to take a break. Can we, take, can we take a break? Yeah, take a break. All right, we'll take a break. We're right back with Mindy Kaling. We'll be right back. I'm here 
here with Mindy Kaling. She's, you're the boss. A little bit. Is that the name of the show, She's the Boss? Um, that isn't. It's a great. It's also the name of a, Who's the Boss was a popular show. Right, right. Um, She's the Sheriff was another great the, show. Really? Is that a show? Well, that was a show, yeah. Wow. It was, uh, who's the thigh master lady? Suzanne Summers. Yeah, she was a, a sheriff in the Old West. It was a sitcom. I think they made like four of them. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sounds pretty good. It was awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, so wait, you were talking a little bit about... Yeah, but I don't have any time. We're out of time. We, we, it's we over? Yeah, yeah. We were talking to... What do you want to talk about? Quickly. Though. I was going to ask you guy advice, but never mind. No, no, no quickly. Oh, what is it? Okay, what would you say with someone with my schedule? Because you're a good-looking guy, like, you know, a beautiful wife. I've seen <laughs> different things. And I just think you're good. Like, what would you say for someone with my schedule uh, in terms of dating? <clears throat> <laughs> well, it depends what you're looking for. What, you, what, what are you looking for? Are you looking for companionship? Are you looking for sex? Uh, both would be good, right? <laughs> Then, then you got, then you got to, then you got to uh, ease up on your schedule. If it's just sex, fit it right in. But uh, if it, but if it's companionship, yeah, you gotta, something's gotta give. Something has got to give. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we'll talk about this next time I'm here. We'll see okay. if I'm in any progress. Uh, well, listen, we're at, we're out of time. Uh, do you want, you want a piece of fruit quickly? Yes, thank you. All right, what would you like? Um, I'm gonna take this. What is this? Nectarine. Uh, sure. Is it? It's a rambutan. What am I eating? Is, this, is, that, like the, is that the scientific name for that? Sure. <laughs> Mindy Kaling, everybody. We'll be right back. You probably remember this from the movie Bambi, but when we communicate danger, we thump our feet on the ground. And your clapping to me sounds like danger, so please, please don't do it or I'll have to come over there and <laughs> Alright, thank you. Do you know, I love that movie, Bambi, except, except I thought the portrayal of the rabbit was somewhat inaccurate. <laughs> For example, the rabbit was all kind of, oh, 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 like that. oh, Bambi, oh, look out, oh, oh Bambi, oh, look, oh, oh your mum's dead, Bambi, oh, no. <laughs> and uh, rabbits would be like that, rabbits would be like, what the f*** is this? <laughs> wouldn't uh, stand for that. And then when the rabbit's always going bubbity bump 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 <laughs> thumping with his feet. I'm sorry you can't see me thumping with my feet, but that's probably because you've got a cheap television, you cheap <laughs> bubbity bump bump. Oh I'm doing it. I it was actually my ambition to join River Dance. <laughs> I wanted to be the the rabbit Michael Flatley. <laughs> but I was practicing and then everybody that I knew ran away. Because <laughs> they thought it was danger. <laughs> That's why rabbits will never go and see Michael Flatley because it's too frightening. <laughs> like to a rabbit. Right? River Dance is like one of them Saw films. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Hey, let, let me tell you this. I saw one of them Saw films and I was like, well, I thought Bambi was but this is <laughs> 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 